Hi folks, you here. In this video I have another unboxing of uh, another Mikrotik product. Uh, only, uh, I have CRS uh, 120HP 4SIN, uh, which is really interesting product uh, since it's uh, CRS series uh, PoE switch uh, with a router OS uh, level 5 license. So uh, I'm going to do an unboxing and I'm going to talk about specifications of this device. Uh, but first, I would like to tell I would like to tell why I bought it. Uh, I'm expanding my home network, and since I have uh, a lot of device, a lot of Mikrotik devices that can be powered by PoE, I search for something uh, from the Mikrotik product line uh, that has PoE, uh, and I mean PoE with enough. Uh, ports to power all uh, my current device and some uh, future device that I have uh, for, uh, in plan for progress, uh, progressing. Uh, well, uh, I'm not very happy with this device because this is a little bit older device. Uh, it's not a modern uh, line. Uh, I would like to see some uh, newer uh, Mikrotik CRSs uh, that are even more capable and I will talk about the uh, hardware of this device and what I personally believe that could be done better. So, let's unbox it. Here is the standard Mikrotik cardboard box. At least they updated the design. Uh, not much information. Open it. Well, we have some manual, some information, nothing special. We have this nice big power adapter. Let's see, as you can see, this is. 28 volts with 3.4 amps output. It's a really beefy adapter. We have power cable. The device itself. We are going to wait one second. Some nice uh, recon brackets. So if you want to recon this device, you don't have to bought anything. You just screw it on and that's all. I might even uh, put it in my uh, lab rack but I will need to decide if I will do that since I need something that's more closer to my other devices and the lab rack is a little bit far. Okay. Here is the device itself metal casing with a lot of ventilation and when I say a lot of ventilation I really mean it it has a really each side has ventilation there is ventilation under it and there is even the fan mount but there is no fan in here okay. so uh, this particular device has 8 uh, gigabit uh, internet uh, ports, uh, it has four SFP ports and all of these eight uh, internet ports are PoE. We also have the console port, uh, reset button, we have from the back side we have this nice uh, adapter cable uh, retention, uh, ground support uh, and two uh, DC uh, power jacks so you can buy even more powerful uh, brick and attach it to this device so let's talk a little bit about put it here so we can talk about the device specifications 
this device is very based on uh, MIPSP architecture with uh, QC8 CPU. Uh, it's uh, only single core with uh, 400 megahertz, and as I said previously, I'll, ta I'll tell what I don't like here, and that's this uh, CPU. Uh, I personally believe they could improve this product uh, by moving to the different architecture, uh, something like RM based, something similar to uh, 3011 or even 411 um, that would be much uh, better for this device but obviously this is the older type uh, we also have 128 megabytes of RAM which could easily be beefed up to the 256 or even 512 megabytes since as you saw previously even the HAP AC uh, square uh, has 256 megabytes uh, and it's way more powerful device than this actually uh, the price of this device could be also lower uh, to reflect the current uh, I'm let's say to reflect its age but again it's still a brilliant product and I won't uh, doubt in my critique placement but I would like like to see some uh, updates in the that particular product line. Uh, what do we have here? Also, we have 16 megabytes of flash. Uh, PoE out uh, is uh, both uh, 802.3 AF and AT, but uh, you will need uh, the more powerful adapter if you want to go to the AT standard. That's the reason why it have uh, two uh, power jacks on the back. Uh, uh, okay, uh, it, it is um, uh, also need to say that the max uh, power output per port, if the input is uh, above 30 volts, so that it's mean with the stronger power brick is Uh, 450 milliamps and uh, if the input is uh, less than 30 volt it's 1 amps so max total uh, output is 2.8 amps and max power consumption for the device is 150 watts uh, the device if you don't attach any PoE uh, to it or anything else to it it consumes only 10 watts uh, the size of the device is really great. It's it's not that big as you could see. So it's uh, 200 millimeters wide, uh, 143 millimeters in length, and only 40 millimeters uh, height. It has attached uh, rubber feet, and that's about everything about this device. Um, so, I will test it in my home network, I, huh, I believe it will done more than, uh, actually I believe it, it will do more than, than a great job for what I, what I went for it, but still I believe that my critique should update this whole series with something much, uh, much more modern devices preferably RM based but who knows we will see you will sign out